you guys are welcome back to my channel um for those of you seeing me for the first time i am sisters apparent thank you for always um subscribing and your likes um, in today's class i want to quickly show us how to cut a straight pant yeah a straight pant that can also serve as an office pant i'm using um length 42 using length 42 so from this place to this place is um 42 inches you know i already i already um made a video on how to cut a pan before but i think this is going to be a little different from that previous one i just made a little modification we're going to have a little modification on this one so this is the length so now getting your, I believe by now we all know how to get hip line from waist, always nine inches. Except maybe you're cutting for a shorter line, that is when you use eight. So to get the crotch now, the hip I'm working um, with here is um, 43. So all you need to do is just divide it by four. Divide it by four. So it's give you. 10 and the half and quarter so that means if you have 44 if your crotch is going to be 11 if you have 40 if your crotch is going to be 10 so basically just divide your if measurement by by four but if you're cutting for high waist if you're cutting an high waist um, pant you need to measure that one round you need to get the measurement like from assuming it's from the navy here you place your tape you place your tape like this round the crotch to the back or maybe the person is um sticking on a flat surface you put the tape wherever you want it to start from then you measure it to the to that surface the person is sitting on to get your crotch i think that's better so now you're going to get your knee line the knee here is on nine in under half. So you get these lines. So when you want to cut a pant, you should know that you need this line. Waistline, hip line, crotch line, your knee, then the full length. So after you when you might have gotten these five lines, the next thing you do now is um try to shape the pant. So from here, you measure 1.5 inch in, from here. So this down part, you are going to measure just one and a half. Just one and a half from this down part. So all you need to do is just connect. You are connecting it to your... Um, hip line then you connect to this place so if you have your leg curve ruler you can decide to use that if you have your leg curve ruler you can decide to use that You know that definitely this place you are not going to leave it sharp like this you are going to blend it you are going to blend it like this then even here too you are going to give it a little blending here so your leg off ruler will have been better that is blending this place and uh, this other place so I hope you guys understand that is one and a half inches here. One and a half, sorry, one and a half inch, one and a half inch. So 
just connect so give it this uh this core feel so you come back to this place take your waist measurement divided by four so i have um um what is it called i have um 39 inches divided by four you are going to divide your waist measurement by four your hip measurement by four but your uh, lap measurement, your lap measurement, you're going to take it on the crotch line and you're going to divide by two. You're not dividing by four on your crotch line. You're only dividing by four here and here, that's hip and um, waist. So 39 divided by four, I think is um, nine and a half and a quarter. Back. Mark then plus two inches. Then the hip here is... Um, the hip is um, 43. The hip is 43 divided by 4, which is um, 10.7. You mark. Plus 1 inch. Then the lap is on. Um, 28. You know, remember I said that on your lap, um, on your crotch line, you are going to divide your lap measurement by 2. So 28 divided by 2 is going to give you 14. So you mark here plus um, 1 inch. So all you need to do is just connect. Connect to this your 1 inch here. Then you go like this. Connect to this one inch here. Then you go like this. So you know from here now, that is to shift the down part. From here now, you know I have um fourteen and a half. That is from this curve to this place. So you can decide to just um. Probably just measure the same thing here. Just bring it down here. You mark, but if this one is kind of confusing, you should decide what to do with it down. You have to determine how wide you want it. Maybe, you know, from here now to where the fabric is starting from here. Maybe you have, um, this is 15 here now. So you mark here, you have, you have 15. You know, from here now it's going to connect to this place. So from that 15 now, just minus, um, just minus two inches or 1.5. The 1.5 you measured here, measure that same 1.5 here instead of two inches. So you just connect. So when you get to this place, you just cut like this. So if you look at it now, it's not too wide and it's not too um, pencil. I believe you understand why I shaped it down. Just from here to this place where the fabric is starting from, 15. So place it here, that 15, you're starting from here to, then you measure in. From that 15, measure in 1.5. Measure in 1.5, then you connect it to this place. So after that, from here, you measure one inch down. So have your uh, front core, uh, that front slab, I mean. You can leave it straight like this. You can just give it, you can just blend it a little bit. So that's that about the front. So all you need to do is just cut it out. So after cutting out, now this is it. This is the front part. So the next thing you do now is place on the remaining fabric and get the back. You know, as we all know, the, the, the front is always the issue, the back, you don't have an um, issue with the back. 
So what you just need to do with the back now is um, from here, mark your one inch, this down part. Then on this, your crotch, measure one and a half inch. Then this side, you are going to follow the same shape here. So when you get to your hip line, you extend it with one inch. Just one inch. One inch extension down there. So remember, we, uh, we took off um, one inch from this front part. So you are going to add that one inch back, then you add additional one again. So here now is going to be two, two inches. So if you are cutting from here, your shaping is going to intercept this uh this angle here. Your shaping is going to intercept this angle here. One inch, one point five, one inch. Connect like this. Follow the same shape when you get to your hip extension of one inch then from here you're going to have two inches so many people have problem where uh cutting this uh, edge so just do your own maybe this is what you're going to do just get like make sure you have like two inches around here so that you don't go and cough like this or you just go straight then you start having problem with the back so you can just use your chop to just get like two inches here that's from this uh, hip line just get like two like so that you know where to intercept when you're going so this one like this like that then you cut so after cutting this is it as you can see this is the back this is the back this is the front two inches one inch 1.5 one inch you connect then to to get out to curve this place to intercept this place just from here just get like two inches mark like two inches then you, you intercept so now joining this one now is kind of easy the first thing you do is so with half inch half inch like this you are going to sew it half inch like this so after that after that you take one of the you take one of the back you take one of the back and place like this then you join from this point when you start from here you start with one inch one inch so when you get to your hip line when you get to around that hip line you reduce it to half inch something like this on the waistline you start with one inch so when you're joining when you get to that hip you reduce it to half so you use that half inch to join it all through you do the same thing here play the the other side of the back you use one inch to join so when you get to the uh the hip area you reduce it to half inch then use that half inch to join all through so after that you take the final measurement at the back Take the final i'll show you how to do that now so this is it after joining this place get it like this Here's the front so you join one side back to this other side one to this other side so see what see what i was talking about like one inch from here so when you get to the hip area you reduce it to half inch that was the same thing i did here Oh, the same thing I did here. One inch from here. So when you get to the hip area, you you reduce it to half inch. So now you take your waist measurement. You take your waist measurement and your hip measurement like this. So the waist is um the waist is thirty nine. So which is 19 and a half you mark so you come to the hip area that's if you want it to be very very tight you want to be to, to if you want it to be your exact um what is it called hip measurement so you mark so if i'm to make it the exact now i'm going to mark for the three here but i want to give it half inch so that it's just i'm sorry one inch so that it's to to ease the 
the hands and the body so i'm making it 44 do you understand so all you need to do is just connect together like this then you join so that is the way you are going to do it so after when you might have done that one that is when you are going to sew this inner part this inner part will just use half inch to join and make sure you have your then after when joining this way that is when you now confirm your your lap uh, measurement from here you know this is your this is your crotch line so that is when you now confirm your your lap measurement so that's what i'm coming there is something i'm already um leaving out here don't forget the dart at the back i almost forgot that don't forget the dart at the back just like quarter inch or half inch just fold into two equal parts like this like half or quarter inch just so you store it down three um three and a half inches downward or four inches before you guys you are going to do that before you take your um your waist and the hip measurement just like i did the other time don't forget to do that i've already made the correction and the adjustment the back is supposed to have um, that so after joining and ironing this is what the pants is going to look like as you can see it's coming out very neat and beautiful this is what it's going to look like very neat and beautiful look at it so now mind you this left side that is where you are going to fix your zip just lose um like seven or eight inches up to this place then you attach your zip then you fix your band if you like you can pipe it in if you like you can fix a band i already have a video on how to cut a a band a perfect band a waistband for pants i'm going to drop the link on the description box below you watch that to to cut and fix the band so that's that about this a uh, wonderful straight pant this is it Thank you very much everybody for watching please don't forget to share and subscribe see you guys next time